That's Madeline Henderson. This is Craig Carpenter. And that is Jacob Wood. And, and we, we are, are under, under the, the bus. So the problem we realized around the tri-state area is that people with dietary issues or restrictions or preferences oftentimes aren't able to find the foods that they need. And not only that, but the foods that are available to them are often distasteful. So, in the United States alone, millions of people live with dietary restrictions. So we wanted to come up with a way to make this, this awful sort of stigma that, that um, sometimes carries with people, and we wanted to give them a sort of a, an easy alternative to um, being able to just, like, having to go to a grocery store and, like, looking through all these things, and there's not very many options, and they find that they're almost embarrassed at, not, at the lack of options. So our thought, was a subscription box service that caters to the special dietary needs of millions of Americans. So each box would have the necessary ingredients and recipes to make the selected meal, as well as snack boxes would be available. So people will easily order from our website that we've already started creating, theunorthobox.com, and that is a screenshot from our website. We have a drop-down menu that will allow people to not only sort through all of the boxes that we have available, but also check off different options based on um, like religious beliefs like kosher or um, allergies and things like that. So in the United States alone, 8 million people are vegetarians, and one half of those Americans are vegans. I've been a vegan for three years, um, and I can tell you from experience that in the tri-state area, it is very frighteningly low, the amount of food that I can find around here. And so I can't even imagine for people who have even stricter diets, like low-carb diets, low-fat diets, people who live with diabetes, the 30.3 million Americans live <coughs> with diabetes, um, and the 3.1 million Americans that eat gluten-free, they suffer just as much as we do. And the foods that they need aren't always available in the grocery stores around here. Our goal for Unorthodox is to make uh, Unorthodox available all over the continental U.S. But uh, to achieve that, we would purchase each ingredient in our box for about a total of $13, such as our snack box that we brought today. We purchased all of that for $13. So to reach our 20% profit margin, we would probably price it around $16, including shipping and postage. And uh, our competition, Right now, there are tons of meal subscription boxes, the biggest being Blue Apron, but Blue Apron does not accommodate for any dietary restrictions. And then there's Hello Freshly, which only accommodates for uh, gluten-free, and Purple Carrot, which only accommodates to vegans. We plan to accommodate to many more. So that leads us to a milestones. Um, as the president mentioned earlier, an idea can be good, but it's the first step that really decides whether something is going to be successful. So the first step we have to do is get the necessary uh, licenses. Uh, Mr. Barfield, um, being the operator of a restaurant, knows that there are very many regulations when it comes to food service, and also when it comes to U.S. Postal Service, using your businesses through those um, venues. Um, next, we would launch our business in the tri-state area as a easily controllable experiment. Um, we would uh, we start using surveys very soon to test the market. Um, our website, um, they would be able to order the box that they like, but after they order a specific box, they can go back and take out things that they may be allergic to or further dietary restrictions. Um, third is fixing bugs in the website and our business model. Um, no business model is perfect, and we don't expect ours to be even close to that. And fourth is upgrading our business to the whole continental U.S. should steps one through three um, go well. And um, next steps for us would be obtaining licenses, obtaining federal and state tax IDs for being a business that's very necessary. Um, and then setting up business bank accounts and a PayPal. Um, our website allows us to use PayPal uh, to charge people that buy our boxes through our website. Um, next, getting a testing group of customers in the Tri-State, and finally launching to the Tri-State area. We want to make this a reality, and with your help, we can deliver your food <coughs> to your door. Thank you.